So, you want to start a channel, but you're not sure what or how to do it. Not a problem. I think the biggest question most people have on this topic sounds something like, I want to be a YouTuber, but I don't know what topic or theme I should pick for my channel. And the true answer is, it's really not about what you do, it's how you do it. You could make a successful, thriving YouTube channel on literally anything. You could be funny, you could be creepy, you could literally just stare at the screen every video. You could do funny voiceovers, you could read books, you could review books, you could play bass, you could play piano, you could play piano while cosplaying. You could be a master on a subject, you could be a noob on a subject and just document your journey mastering it. You could share your skills, you could share your struggles, you could love movies, you could hate movies. Maybe you drive all day and you share your dash cam. Maybe you sail all day and you just share your dash cam. You could be beautiful, you could be shredded, or you could be skinny and then get shredded. My point is, you could run a successful channel doing literally anything. The important part is that you do it consistently and you just make small improvements each time that your audience likes. And in my opinion, one of the easiest ways to make sure that you can do that is to align your channel with stuff that you naturally want to do every day. When you get home from work and there are no responsibilities, what do you do to choose to relax? Do you read a book? Do you watch movies? Do you watch anime? Do you eat? Do you try different foods? Do you hang out with your friends? Do you scroll through Twitter? Do you watch cute animals? Do you just call or chat with your friends? These are clues to what you like to do. Because if you do it every day, you're probably comfortable with it. And there's a good chance that it doesn't feel like it takes effort for you. And that means that it's something that you can do long term. And remember, that is the key. Growing your YouTube is about consistency. You need to pick something that you can see yourself doing long term reliably. And I'll give you an example for when I had this exact conversation with a really good friend of mine. I have a homie who graduated with me in college and right after graduation, he left the country to start a new life in Japan. And he successfully built his own business and has now been living there for seven years. Now it's not easy, he works from 6 in the morning to 9 p.m. just about every day, but he enjoys his work and he asked me if I thought he had any chance of starting a fun YouTube channel on the side as a passion project, even though he only has about two or three hours of spare time every day. Now I actually believe that this is the case for most people who start YouTube. Most people have other full-time jobs and responsibilities and only really have a few hours of spare time each day available to dedicate to that passion project anyway. So of course I told him, yeah, not a problem. What kind of things are you considering doing on your channel? And he said, well, I have a lot of things I'm interested in doing. I like to learn dances, I like to sing and karaoke, I like to talk to people, I like teaching people and sharing my experience, I like jogging and walking to exercise. I also like to eat. So there were a lot of different ideas going on here. And my first question was, okay, out of all those things, which ones do you realistically see yourself having the energy to do when you come home from work late at 10 p.m. and you have about two hours before you go to bed and wake up at six the next morning? And he was like, probably not learning dance choreography and singing or exercising. And I kind of laughed and nodded in agreement and said, okay, well, through process of elimination, I think the most reasonable thing left is probably just talking and sharing your experience casually. And he said, well, I don't really know how to make that exciting or fun for people to watch. And then I was like, bro, you are thinking about this way too much. Just keep it simple. The value is built in to your experience and the conversation that you're sharing. So just make that your channel. And he was like, what do you mean? And I explained, if I was in your shoes, I personally feel like you are sitting on a gold mine of experience right here. Because right now there are thousands of people who would love to do what you did, which is just YOLO move to Japan and somehow find a way to make it work and start your own business in the heart of the land of the rising sun. I mean, since you like jogging, once a week I would just go to a new pretty place or a park, sit my phone down, press record, and my first video would be like, I got off the plane. Found myself in the middle of Narita Airport. No friends, no family, no plan. I had to figure out a way to make money fast. The only problem was I couldn't speak Japanese. And to my knowledge, I had no useful skills I could think of. The only thing I had, which ironically, I never valued before, ended up becoming the center of my life. I could speak English. And from that starting point, and seven years later, I built a company, have awesome friends, and no plans to go home.
Done. That's your first episode. And then once a week, you just talk about all the crazy stuff you've told me. And I promise people would be interested. Starting a business in Japan as a foreigner is a f***ing miracle. That shit is not easy, and people would love to hear how. So you have all the content you could want in your experience. Just share three minute pieces of it once a week and when it starts to grow, you could pivot to things like three biggest lessons I learned from living in Japan or three biggest mistakes you should never make living in Japan or whatever else you feel is helpful or important for your audience to know who would like to follow in your footsteps. But I think you see the point here. My friend had a bunch of ideas and we ended up filtering them out based on what we knew he could deliver constantly without burdening his schedule. And since I'm pretty sure that most of you are probably in that same situation where you have a full-time job and really not too much extra time. It's a good idea to make whatever your channel is going to be about something that you can do in that small sliver of spare time you have during your day. So I hope this helps gives you a bit of direction of what you can do and maybe some ways you could do it. Leave a comment down below over some of the ideas you might have to start your own channel. I would love to hear what you guys are up to. And in the meanwhile, as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.